there are always folks out there that try to rip you off, right? So you want to make sure you protect yourself. And sometimes, especially when you're younger, you're scared to kind of be a bit too picky, right? No, it's like five grand, whatever you're going to spend on the car, it's a lot of money. You're going to work hard for that money, right? You don't want to get ripped off. Right? So you be the boss. You're like, you know what? I'm going to check the car. I'm going to check everything, right? I'm going to check VIN number. I'm going to do a search. I'm going to take my time. And if they threaten you, it's like, well, I've got 10 other people lined up. Well, then sell it, right? Like if it's really that good, then you might have to say no, because guess what? There, there are more cars on the market, right? But you want to make sure you don't get rushed into anything. All right, so we talked about all of that. Uh, good, good refresher. This, oh, you can't see it. I will turn that off. That door is a bit sticky. Oh, okay, hold on. So we'll just tell you, uh, we talked a little bit about, this is on page 15, on page 15, we talked about this, right? Um, don't transfer that on your study sheet because I will give you a formula sheet on top of your study sheet that you get to bring for anything you want. And that same table is here again. Okay, so it's just a little smaller so that it wouldn't use up so much space. And if you ever forget what PST and GST is, it's also right there on the formula sheet. You will have this exact same formula sheet on the exam. Like when you write your exam in June, this piece of paper will be there somewhere on that table when you're ready to write. So don't waste time with that. Um, just reviewing the formulas because I do not, I do not want you to just blindly follow the formulas. I want you to understand them. That's otherwise I otherwise I wouldn't be giving you formulas because sometimes uh, you you kind of have to eliminate components and you have to know how it works, right? So this is when you're getting a use from a dealer. This is this is what it would look like if they wanted everything. But watch this, guys. Let's say you have a question and it just says, just calculate the parts and labor, including taxes. Oh, it's just the parts and labor? All right. Right? Then it's just that part. Right? What's the total cost of the car, including taxes? Okay, now we're talking the whole thing, right? Uh, and so make sure you understand that part. Uh, when it's a private sale, watch this, right? In this bracket, you will always put the greater number uh, between the actual purchase price and the book value of the car. Only one number goes in here, and it's going to be the bigger one. Okay? And then these three parts in the back here are exactly the same. Okay? Exactly the same. It's just the front end, right, that is different. Um, so this chunk here is the PST that you would pay the auto pack agent when you register. They will charge you this. Like, hey, you want, you want to pay credit, debit, check? What do you want to do, right? You're going to have to pay this to auto pack, and that's how they collect it. Okay. Let's keep going. Page 16. <clears throat> Let me get my camera straight here. So... Here we go. We did one question yesterday. I'm going to skip now to uh, example two. So follow along. If you have a highlighter, a good idea to do that. So here we go. I asked you to try this. If you did, you're just watching now, right? Uh, so Joel finds a Jeep Wrangler uh, for 24900 That's probably worth highlighting. And we know that it is a private sale, right? It's a private sale. So you know that you're most likely going to have to resort to this formula, used, private, right? And it's as is. So that just means if the engine falls out from under your car the next day, it's on you, right? The book value, there's that 
very important piece here, the book value of that car. So in Autopax eyes, the car you're buying is worth this much, right? Even though you are paying this in their book, so you got a pretty good deal. That's pretty, that's pretty much what that's saying, right? Uh, Joel pays their $65 save fee and a $30 VN search. Okay, so here we go. It's asking us, what does it asking? Read quick, carefully. What's the total purchasing price after tax? All right, so use private. I'm gonna go price plus price slash book times 0 0.07 plus safety times 1.05 because it's only GST, right? Uh, parts and labor times 1.12 and the lien which is not taxed. Um, so we need to fill in. I will put the price of the car is twenty four nine hundred, and uh, the book value is thirty two thousand. In this case, the greater is this one, right? So we will actually pick that one to go into our formula. We don't have parts and labor, right? We're in no way, shape or form talking about any kind of parts or labor that is being applied. So this part of the formula is basically eliminated or omitted. So use private, the price of the car, 24,900. In the bracket goes to 32,000. You're not paying that much money for the car, but you're getting taxed on it. It's greater. That is worth a full mark. So if you get that number wrong, you will lose a full mark here. So it's important. That's why I'm emphasizing it. The safety is 65 bucks. We're paying 5% on that. And the lien search just gets added to the back, right? So far, so good. I want you to show me these. You don't have to write out the formula. I don't require that, but I do require the steps in between. Like, how did you come up with your answer? Right? So use private, 24,000 plus 32,000 times seven. I already calculated that. That's 2,240. I don't need brackets around it because it's already calculated, right? plus 65 times 1.05, that's 68.25, and the 30 goes in there. We're good so far? <clears throat> Stop me if uh, I'm getting something wrong. So when you add, uh, oh, this is a 900, right? Sorry. Fix that, please. This is 900. Must be, oh yeah, that's a 900. So if you add it all up, that's 27,238 and 25 cents. So that would be considered the total cost, including taxes. This is including taxes. So some, right, some parts were taxed 7%, some parts were taxed 5%. So this includes all applicable taxes. So watch this, common error. I, I, I get this, especially on the final exam for some reason students go okay it says taxes right so i'm going to take my number here and multiply that by 1.12 this is not good right don't do this this is wrong okay you're double taxing
Don't double tax, right? If, you do, if you're taking an answer and going times 1.12, you're double taxing. And you're doing 12%, right? Which is even worse. Okay. What if it said uh, taxes only? How much did you pay in taxes only? I will give you the long version of this. I know some of you did it quicker if you did this. So tax only. This is basically a formula that you can, if you want, you can add this. But it would be the price slash book times 0 0.07. So I'm basically taking this part of the formula up here and saying, hey, that would be the PST. Plus, I would take the safety and multiply it by not 1.05 as up here where my finger is, but instead it would be 0 0.05. Plus parts and labor, instead of 1.12, I would multiply that by 0 0.12. This is the sure way of figuring out how much taxes you pay if you want to do it for like get it right for sure. So we still steal the 32,000 from up there and we actually know this number already. The safety would be 65 times 0 0.05. The parts and labor is not there. So it's just zero, right? Or you can just scratch it here, but I kind of want you to have this as a formula. To be honest, if you understand the formula I gave you, this should not surprise you. But the key here is that safety turns to zero and parts of labor turns to zero. That's the main difference from here up there so you're basically just taking the three middle components of that big formula the uh, the PST the safety and the parts and labor those three are taxed right and you're bringing it down here with you so the 32,000 times 7% would be 2240 and 65 times 0 0.05 is 325 which you can see that, right? You went from 65 to 68, 25. So there is a $3.25 tax on the thing. So that is 2243.75 taxes only. Sorry, I'm going to move this up for you. We are probably. Uh, if you did it a different way and you got the same answer, you're okay. All right. <clears throat> so this part right here is basically the PST. The PST that you're paying on the car. And this part right here calculates the GST you paid on the safety. And if there had been any parts and labor, you would have figured out the PST and GST on those parts and any work that needs to be done, right? So that's how much you paid in taxes. So this is the total, including the car and taxes and the lien, right? And then this down here is just the tax part that you would have to pay. All right. So to warm up, I'm going to ask you to uh, go to 17 here, go to page 17. And you're going to try that right away. You're going to try this. And I'm telling you. Yes. 
uh, the first Friday, we're going to go back and forth, right? So make sure you follow along, okay? You can ace the AC that's coming your way. Right, so you're buying a private, it's a private sale, right? That right now, right, we start with new, then we went used, and it's actually in particular a private sale, right? And we're paying nine. Five hundred for it. That's important. Uh, to pass the safety, it needs two headlights for, at sixty bucks each, uh, four new brakes, a new fuel pump, and the repair takes two hours at sixty-five dollars per hour. And sometimes the hours or the time is in decimals. Just use it as is. If it's two and a half, two and a half, right? So parts and labor itself would therefore be two headlights at $60, right? Four brakes at $150, uh, and a new, uh, new fuel pump. So that gets me to $120 plus $600 plus $190. And so that's $1,040. So when it's your final answer, make sure you have a dollar sign. And this is before tax. And that's what the question actually wants, right? So we're going to circle this. That answers the question, okay? Now what time is 1.12? Because it's before tax. Uh, this is 720 yeah. plus 90 is 8.10. Oh, I'm missing something, right? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you put, oh, yeah, yeah. You put the... I forgot to add the la the labor. What about labor? Okay, sorry. This this is labor. This should be in there. My bad. So this would be parts and the labor. So it should be a thousand forty. Sorry, I I'm looking at it now. It's I was off. Thanks for checking though. So thanks for checking. That's good. Okay, so that would be the answer there. Now it says the total cost to purchase after tax. So the total cost to purchase after tax. That's when you, in this case, yes, it calls for this formula. And I will take the 9,500, that's how much you're paying for the car, plus, which one is greater, the book or this one? It's the 10,000, right? Just take the bigger one. Because remember, it's like the government is greedy and wants to get the most taxes possible out of the deal, right? So they'll take the higher number. Plus, uh, there's a safety, which is $40. We're going to multiply that by 1.05. Then there's a parts and labor, which I just calculated. And remember, we know that this number is no taxes included, right? Therefore, I'm going to go ahead and multiply the, this by 1.12. If I had already calculated the taxes here, please don't multiply it by 1.12 again. Okay? So that's why I'm saying understand what the formula is doing. Uh, and is there a lien search? No lien search. Okay, so this is zero technically, or just leave it like that. It's up to you. All right, so we're doing good. So let's break this down. 10,000 times 7, 0.07 is 700 bucks. 40 times 1.05 is 42. 1,040 times 1.12 1, is 1,164.80. No dollar signs because we're not done yet, right? And so the final answer, if we add all of this up, gives us 11,406, bless you, 406 and 80 cents. Uh, after tax, right? After tax. Don't make that mistake to multiply by 1.12 because 
you paid taxes, PST, you paid GST, here you paid both, right? Um, I don't know, sometimes students don't understand, like, why is it tax differently? Did you know that when you go to the, to the store, grocery store, a lot of items aren't even taxed? Like meat, milk, produce, like fruits and vegetables, no taxes on it. So your bill could be like 250 bucks and you only pay $3 in taxes. If you ever go shopping, check it. Um, because any raw products don't pay taxes. It's only processed foods, right? Anything that's packaged in a box that you pay taxes on. If it's canned food or frozen, right? Then it's, uh, they, they would tax you on it. So when you have the save the tax event at Superstore, a lot of people go crazy. You're not saving a whole lot. It's not like it's gonna, unless you buy a flat screen TV, right? That gets taxed 12%. All right, next. Um, total taxes paid after all repairs and purchase. So once you've done the repairs and the purchase, like how much did you end up paying on taxes only? Just a different way of wording it perhaps. So tax would be 700. So I'm just going to borrow that 700, right? Plus, maybe let's do it the long way here. I'm going to go, instead of 1.05, I'm going to go 0 0.05 plus 1,040 times 0 0.12, right? Emphasis on these zeros here. The 7, I just stole it because it's already just a zero in front so it's just the taxes right so we add up these components you get two dollars here and this when you multiply it you get 124.80 okay and that is a grand total of 826.80 taxes only it looks like uh, I had a heart attack or something. Right? Taxes only. Maybe after seeing the taxes, you're not too happy. Right? So that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Maybe I will just do a green highlighter so you know where I got this from, right? Basically this part. Right? I just... I didn't bother showing that again because I, I could just take that number. That's fine with me. Okay. Now uh, I'm going to ask you to work on page 18. And I'm just read carefully. I actually don't want to give stuff away. I want you to just read it and see if you can manage through those uh, on your own. I will go over it. So don't... Uh, don't panic too much. There's zero consequence if you get it wrong right now. Zero risk. But there's a lot of reward if you tried it and then you fix it. Okay. You good with that? Off you go. So page 18. And if you're super fast, uh, what ends up what what I'm going to end up doing is assign the used vehicle worksheet after I've gone over this. So if you want to go ahead already, be my guest, you go ahead and do that. My audience is going to see this later. It, you should, it should show evidence that you took the course. Because sometimes st students just say, hey, what's a good thing about buying privately? Oh, it's cheaper. I need to see some evidence. Like, what do you mean? Oh, you pay less tax, you only pay PST. Um, and, and so I will talk about, these will be filled in, so it'll be on you. And then this worksheet, I, I will have the entire key up on, on Google Classroom as soon as we're done here. So if you want to practice some over the weekend, because to be honest, used is tricky. Right? Used is a little trickier than buying new, so you got to watch out for that. Okay, here we go. So just follow along, okay? Example four here, you're buying a used car and it's a private sale here. So I know that I'm in the UP territory. The car I agreed is 16,500. Diagnostics, 
I'm always throwing in words and sometimes students don't know. Diagnostic is just when they plug in a reader onto your car and they check to see if there's any errors or problems with your car, right? It's an electronic diagnostic. So that would be under parts and labor, okay? Engine work, 650, labor is $50 an hour for two and a half hours. Uh, four new shocks at $82 each. This safety check will cost 60 bucks. There's a lien search for 20. And they talk about the book value being 14,000, right? You can kind of do this, okay? Here, here's my trick of the day. Do you see that the book value is lower? You see that? You can basically say, eh, I'm not gonna use it. Like if it's lower, it's not gonna be used. So, uh, I will do a parts and labor first here. Parts and labor would be 90 bucks plus 650 plus three and a half hours of $50. And then I need four new shocks that cost me $82. And so that will run uh, 3.5, that's 175 here for the labor, and then four times 82 is 328. And so all of this amounts to uh, 1243 before tax. I don't know, I, I like to do that on the side here. I'm gonna underline it, because it's important. I circle final, I circle my final answer normally. So here we go, use private, you ready? So it's 16,500 plus 16,500, yeah, you guessed it. It shows up twice. So they're taxing you on the higher, which happens to be what you paid for. Plus safety, which is, uh, where is it? 60 times 1.05. Right. Plus uh, the parts and labor, which is 12%, plus there's a lien search. So this question literally has everything, all in one shot. There is a chance that I could ask you, what is the safety including taxes? Then you would just do this, right? Parts including taxes. What's just the PST that you would pay on this car right here? So understand the formula, okay? 16,500 plus 1,155 plus 63 plus 13, 92.16 plus the 20 that's in the back here, right? So everything kind of lines up. And my final answer will have a dollar amount, which is 19,130 and 16 cents. That is the total, including taxes in this particular case. Okay. Um, if you want, if you want a challenge, taxes only, if I ask you that, I will give you the answer. Uh, if you're interested in doing that, reviewing, this is a dollar sign, believe it or not. There you go. Uh, if you wanna check, that's on you, but that's not part of the question, so let's move on. <clears throat> Next one is, uh, we're buying a Dodge Challenger from a local dealership, right? So it's it's used, all right, but it's from a dealer, okay? So it, you gotta make a distinction there. You're gonna pay 12% on the car, right? So here's what, you, what your options are. You can call this parts and labor, right? Or you can call this options, it's up to you, right? Um, so I call this options. So when I come to figure out the sticker price, don't erase this yet because you might have the exact same answer. I just take my 27,850 and I add the 386 as well as the 499. And that gives me uh, 28,735. That's the sticker price right now. So then, uh, to go used dealer, 
I will take the 28,735 minus the trade-in. There is a trade-in. This is just following the formula, folks, times 1.12 plus there's a safety plus, yikes, there is a Lee and Searcher 45. I was a bit a bit too ambitious there with my space. So then use dealer. This would give me twenty-five thousand four hundred and eighty-five point six. Did I miss something there? Did I miss a point six in here? Because that's what my I think so. Plus seventy-five. This is seventy-eight. 75 plus 45 so the total comes out to 25 609 35 this is including tax or after tax both work is that point six uh, wrong i feel like that's wrong right this is supposed to be there where did that come from? Because we went this that minus. Calls on oh, this is already this is already taxes included. Okay. I'll I'll I'll, I'll check it up and I'll I'll let you know on Monday for sure what it is. Tax only would be twenty five four eighty five times 0 0.12 so you take this and just 0 0.12 plus 75 times 0 0.05 so I just take this and just to, and the lien doesn't have taxes so don't worry about it uh, that would be 2730 I don't know where that 0 0.6 came from Mm -hmm. That is already with the uh, taxes, right? Yeah. yeah. This this will fix the problem. So I I must have subtracted and then times one point twelve to give me this, and then when you add that up, you get this, right? Yeah. Okay. So here, I am going to tell you what this is the difference here. Uh, sorry, guys. This is supposed to be. 22, 22755 times 0.12, which is 2730.6 plus here I get 375, just the GST there. If you add it all up, it gives you 27. Because of the mistake, I gotta make sure I get this right. 27, 34, 35. Taxes only. We have a few minutes to spare. I'm just gonna do that last question there. Uh, why would you why would Christina buy a similar privately? You pay less tax, but only PST. You gotta be very specific there. You want full marks. The other reason would be is able to negotiate a lower price. Um, if you go private, you can actually quite often negotiate even lower than a dealer because a dealer knows how much they paid for that car, so they can't go lower than that. Even though they tell you sometimes, I'm gonna lose on this one, right? They're not gonna lose money. So uh, make sure you do some of the homework questions.